Welcome to my apiary. about these vaporizers. I've been using both of them now for a while. So hopefully the wind isn't too bad and you can hear me. Because I have a bit of an evaluation. I know I did a quick little uh, blow off competition the other day. Uh, and that is turning out to not be accurate, to be honest. Um, and I'm going to try to remember to disclose everything that I've learned about these two vaporizers. I've got an early ProVap, it's a 220 watt, and I have a Laura B's 380 watt vaporizer here. Um, I remember when I bought it, the ProVap cost me on the order $700 Canadian. I think it was more, it was more like $750. Today, my bee supply store has that ProVap for $600. I'm talking Canadian dollars, okay? It comes with, I believe, three cups. I think it comes with three cups. And I say that because the ProVap cups cost me, when they say 30 bucks or something <laughs> for one cup, they're a lot of money. Um, and my raggedy old ProVap has probably about 2,000 treatments on it right now. Leaks like crazy. Last time I had it apart to fix, I kind of put it together wrong. So I'm considering that maybe me putting it together wrong might be part of the cause of the leak. But it still seems to be blown off quite a bit of a way vapor into the hive. So I'm content with that. The ProVap is uh, wrapped with a, it's kind of a, kind of a fabric insulation. Some people call it muffler tape, it's not really a tape, it's, it's a strip of flat mesh fabric. Because uh, we usually do our treatments between 5 and 9 C ambient, and if there's a breeze blowing, it takes a long time for that bowl to recover. So I'm not going to lead you into what's better and what's worse. I'm going to try and continue to give you facts here and you can determine what you think of each one. So the Lorup, uh, there is no Canadian distributor that I'm aware of. I believe there is not a Canadian distributor. So therefore, I purchased that from across the line, imported it into my country. I paid the purchase price, which I believe today is 275 US dollars. I paid shipping because the free shipping deal is domestic. I paid import duties and taxes. I purchased five extra cups, which I don't think the cups are very expensive on that one. I, you know, if I recall, I might have paid 15 bucks for five cups. Uh, but that's what I did. Uh, it comes with five. I bought five extra, which I really didn't need to, but I thought, you know, it's shipping, so I might as well get them. And, and I paid exchange uh, on the uh, currency exchange between the two nations. So, uh, as I recall, I believe that ran me about 45 Canadian. So I saved about $115 Canadian dollars on the Lorup versus purchasing a second ProVap from my local uh, my local guy. My first usage of the Lorup, it had a major failure and Rob was right on the money and had me replacement parts for a change-up kit within three days. Had it fixed and back in operation. Seems to be working okay. Uh, it did have a little bit of a loosening up issue there, but it might have been my fault for not tightening enough. Um, 
generally I am dosing the Provap more with more crystals than the Lorup. The Lorup has a more of a defined uh, metered cup than the Provap. Provap you can you can really suck to it if you want. And uh, so I'm getting a few more um, a, a few more crystals. I'm getting a little bit more oxalic acid crystals into the Provap in general. I wouldn't say a, a huge amount, but there is a little bit more, I'm sure. And the speed at which these uh, these things this is this is one of the big things that everybody's waiting for is, is speed. How fast do they work? Uh, the Provap is outperforming the Laura by a good little margin uh, in speed. I believe that's largely because of the wrap on the Provap. I don't have another piece of that uh, cloth right now, so I can't wrap the lower up right now. But I have my little uh, squares of eight hives, and I can do those eight hives. Um, I can do five with the Provap in the time I do three with the lower up. Uh, so that kind of, you know, you can do the math on that to see how, how much different they are in uh, in timing uh, and again I think it's 8 or 9 C out here a little bit of a breeze my fingers are actually kind of cold holding the phone here um, and I want to stress 100% that I paid uh, the cost of this unit as described uh, out of my pocket all right I understand that there are a number of YouTube beekeepers who did not um, pay for their units. Uh, I can only presume that they were sent units for their consideration of reviewing said units. And you can take that information for whatever you want to take it for. So I have zero loyalty to the company. Um, I've spoken to Rob on the phone. I like him. He's a good guy. Uh, he's customer service based. He's, he's customer service is forefront in his mind. Uh, so that's very good. And uh, yeah, I do, you know, and, and this is not a review where I'm going to say, oh, geez, don't buy the ProVap or geez, don't buy the, you know, I'm not going to tell you that because um, in what I'm seeing, these are both, you know, I understand that the new ProVap is even hotter than the old one. Um, I've seen one, mine's a 220 watt. I've seen one that's a 250 watt. I uh, just, a friend just bought one and it's a 330, I think it is, a 330 watt. So it's getting getting hotter, which which would be, you know, really nice. Uh, physically, the Lorb has a very short cord and it's a very stiff cord. Um, and as you can see, I have uh, one, one uh, vaporizer in the top hive and one in the bottom. I consistently put the uh, Provap in the bottom because if I put the Lorb in the bottom, the cord interferes on the ground and I have to sit there and hold it. Um, whereas the Provap, I don't. The cord is not as not as heavy and uh, it's longer. Um, caveat that after a couple thousand treatments on the Provap, the cord broke internally right where it comes out of the handle and I had to fix that this spring. Uh, not the end of the world, but, you know, talking about cords, that's what I had to do. So maybe with the, uh, with the stiffer and shorter cord on the Lorub, I won't need to replace that cord or maybe not as soon or as often. That's yet to be seen. It'll take me a few years to put as many miles on this Lorup as, as I have on the, that ProVap. Um, I can buy parts locally for my ProVap. Cups and O-rings and other bits and pieces. Repair parts. Uh, Rob's customer service and uh, shipping parts out seems to be uh, unbelievably fast. So... You know, that might not be an issue, but there's always shipping and, you know, import into the country and and currency exchange and all kinds of stuff. So, so there's that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like that the Laura 
uh, comes with the uh, exit tube out the top of the burn bowl. The ProVap uh, comes with the exit tube out the bottom. And I learned that that's a weak point and that little tube breaks off pretty easily. I've had to fix it twice. Uh, so the last time I fixed it, I made the, the tube come out the top of the burn bowl because um, it, it, I wrote manufacturer and I got a rather terse email <laughs> back from the, the ProVap uh, manufacturer rep, whoever it was, I, I forget who it was. And uh, the logic behind the tube coming out the bottom is simply so that you can stick it in a bottom board uh, entrance, which I don't do. That's not how I use it. Uh, so it didn't make any difference to me and it works better when the tube comes straight out the top uh, of the burn bowl. So I don't know what more I can say. Uh, I don't have a definitive uh, preference on these two units. I really don't. Um, I, I'd really be interested to see how they compare in speed once I wrap the, the lower uh, bowl keep it warm, make it recover faster. So I'll go back over here and show you kind of what I'm doing. That sun has gone by and the clouds is getting really cold. So you can see the bearding after treatment here. And so these guys are all up to temperature. Oh, another difference that I wanted to mention was uh, the Lorp comes from the factory uh, calibrated in Fahrenheit degrees. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. That's, uh, you know, Celsius degrees is global standard and people need to get over it. Um, so I guess that's why he doesn't uh, ship. Well, he does ship all over the world. So I think he needs to uh, uh, concede and get on board with uh, what the world is doing here. Uh, so that's just another, you know, that's just a small thing. Somebody told me recently that there's a video on the Laura website that tells you how to reconfigure this thing in... Uh, degrees Celsius however I looked on that website everywhere I could look and I saw no such video so maybe somebody can post a link to that video in the comments to this one and uh, see what's going on um, I kind of like the silicone cups they seem to seal up pretty good those o-rings in the, the provap cups i pay five bucks canadian for that o-ring i was going to take that out but i don't have my glove on it's probably pretty hot so uh yeah and and they leak uh, so you know those are just some differences um i kind of like that the provap cup is bigger I, I, it's easy to fill um you know, my understanding is that overdosing a little bit isn't that bad. And the fact that the thing leaks so much, I don't think I'm overdosing at all with it. Uh, so anyway, i got a few to do here. I've got a 185 colonies here in this, in this apiary. And I'm about halfway through them right now. Uh, so having two units, things are going much faster. But, you know, it's still just a lot of standing around. It's not standing around as much with two units. You got to be on it. You got to keep them working. So there's my there's my uh, comparison between these two units. I, I don't think you'd go wrong either way. I mean, if you're in the U.S., you may want the Lorb. Uh, it's a good price point and free shipping, etc. I don't know what U.S. price on a Provap is, but you know, he kind of invented the thing, so you. You kind of want to thank him a little bit. Anyway, I got to put my mask back on and get back at it here. You got to use my drill here to clean out the, the hole to put the vaporizer in. Anyway, let's get back to work. So everybody have a good day and have fun.